Hi and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about what is what in the Ethereum ecosystem, different tools, frameworks and so on, which I want to discuss within these slides and this video in the next few minutes. Now we are going to discuss, for example, what is Geth, Parity, Solidity, Remix and so on. And I would say we just get started and we dive right into it. Let's start with Geth, Parity and CPP Ethereum. Those are all blockchain nodes and they are running client side. Geth, Parity and CPP Ethereum and probably other ones are implementing the Ethereum protocol. That means they are all doing exactly the same thing, just implemented in different programming languages. Geth is implemented in Go and CPP Ethereum is implemented in C++ and so on. You can think of it a little bit like a node in a MySQL cluster. If you ever uh, worked with uh, multi-master clusters, then every single node is doing pretty much exactly the same. And uh, in, in case of the Ethereum nodes, they are all replicating all blocks from the blockchain locally under the computer, who is whoever is executing those nodes. Well, unless they're running in uh, light client mode and they're just downloading the headers. But if you're running now, if you're downloading now Geth and just starting it, it will start downloading the whole blockchain. Now let's talk about MetaMask and Mist. MetaMask and Mist both are like a connection between the browser and the blockchain, and they are making this incredibly easy. In case of Mist, it has an integrated Geth node. You just don't see it when you just start Mist. Uh, you can download Mist, you can start Mist, and it will look like a regular browser, but in the background, it will start its own Geth node and it will start downloading all the blocks. The newer versions of Mist have an option that you can enable the light client mode, but essentially it is a Geth node that is running locally on your computer. Now, here's the difference to MetaMask. MetaMask is a browser plugin, uh, which was first developed for Chrome and now is available also for Firefox. And uh, it makes a connection to Infura and Infura has Geth and Parity blockchain nodes running on their servers. And they're really good at scaling that. Now let's talk about Solidity. Solidity is a high level programming language for Ethereum and it needs compilation. So in this case, it's using Sol C and Sol C takes all the programming code that you're writing and it compiles it down to EVM assembly or bytecode. And this bytecode can then be deployed on the blockchain. It looks a little bit like JavaScript in the newer version, a little bit less in the first version of Solidity. It looked a lot like JavaScript. Remix. Remix is an IDE in the cloud and you can reach it at remix.ethereum.org. Uh, it's an, actually a fully integrated development environment for uh, programming with Solidity. It has a debugger and a static analyzer and you can also hook it up to MetaMask if you have it running. It can import contracts from GitHub and so on. And it's just a very convenient way to develop smaller smart contracts. I personally wouldn't use it for larger projects, but more on that in a little bit. Also, uh, Remix can compile Solidity. So there is a Solidity compiler that was written in JavaScript, which can take the source code and compile it down to bytecode. As I said before, it has an integrated debugger, which is very nice. You can even set breakpoints and you have a step-by-step -step debugger in Remix itself. This is how Remix looks like right now. They are changing it very, very frequently, but essentially right now you have on the left side a browser, you can add new files, you can edit your files here. Um, you have on the right side, you have different tabs and under the run tab, you can create this contract, which you're editing here in a simulated JavaScript environment. And it makes it incredibly easy to work with the smart contract and just debug it if it has some small problems. Let's talk about Web3.js and Truffle contract. There has been a lot of confusion. What is Web3.js? Web3.js is a framework 
for interacting with the blockchain from the browser. The same with Truffle Contract. They are both frameworks and Web3.js itself is basically just a JavaScript library to interact with the blockchain nodes. And when you start a blockchain node, it will it can be started with an HTTP RPC JavaScript interface and Web3.js makes it incredibly easy to interact with this JavaScript HTTP RPC. Truffle contract, on the other hand, is a very convenient abstraction of Web3.js. Uh, in Web3.js, if you are interacting with a contract and you are doing transactions, you usually have to wait for the transaction to be mined. Truffle contract takes off all of that from your shoulder. Uh, it has a, a unified interface to interact with the smart contracts and is very nice from a developer's point of view to use. What is Truffle itself? Truffle is a little bit like a contract management, including deployment and has an integrated testing framework, which is uh, very well written right now. It's already in the version four at the moment. And uh, they also have Truffle boxes, which are uh, pre-configured web development environments. And they have, for example, a React box or a Truffle Webpack box uh, and so on. So you don't have to uh, fiddle around with different Webpack configurations or get uh, React up and running. It's basically uh, the scaffolding is there that you can just focus on smart contract development and on your JavaScript and you don't have to get all of this web development environment up and running first. Now, speaking of JavaScript environments, what is Angular, Vue, React, and Redux in this case? Those are all single page application frameworks or front end frameworks, uh, which are meant to be run in the browser, uh, static, there is no server code involved at least not with uh, React on the server side, React Native maybe, um, but those are all JavaScript frameworks. And they have nothing to do with Truffle or Solidity. They are really like you know them, uh, Vue maybe you know, or React. I think it's, it's uh, both somehow used by bigger corporations out there on regular websites. So nothing to do with Truffle or Solidity. They all can use web free uh, in order to connect to a blockchain node. Uh, some of them, if you use uh, the Truffle framework, you usually use the Truffle contract uh, to interact with the blockchain node, but they themselves are not really, they are not in this Ethereum ecosystem of tools. Now, what is Webpack, Browserify and Node? They, there has been a lot of confusion. Webpack is a bundler for JavaScript and friends, as they call it themselves. It packs many modules into a few bundled assets. So if you have a lot of JavaScript modules and you use Webpack, it's basically taking all these files and merging it into one big file. The same with Browserify, just a little bit different. Browserify is pretty much really just copying it over where you have require statements and then it's getting all these dependencies that you need in order to run your JavaScript app and merging them into one file. What is Node or the Node Package Manager? It can download and manage packages from the Node repository for you. And that's very convenient, especially if you work with, uh, with these modules like Truffle or uh, like the test RPC then you basically just type in your command line npm uh, install dash g and then truffle and it will download and install truffle system wide. So now we have finished this little lecture. I hope it gave you some clarification. And what you're going to do now is you subscribe to this channel, you go to my website and you subscribe to my newsletter if you like it and check out my courses if you want to know more. I guess they have a lot of more information in there that you need if you want to become an Ethereum Solidity developer. Thanks for watching.